Good morning, Modern Stedders. This morning we need to assemble our arm and put it in our pole so we can have a place to hang our pigs from when we're doing the three-day pig harvesting class. We can use this when we're harvesting any large animal afterwards. And when we're not using it, we can use it for a swing. That's going to be so much fun. We'd love to hear from you and find out how much... We just started uploading our videos in the morning also. We'd love to know how you like that. Leave in the comments down below. What we're going to be using to build our arm is we have a four foot piece of four by four mahogany. And then we have two five and a half foot long pieces of two by four mahogany that we're going to put together. We have one eye bolt, it's a forged eye bolt that is rated for 2200 pounds. We got some washers, some nuts, and a metal plate. We need to get this assembled and then we're going to install it in our meat pole. I'm going to flush up the front. I'm going to clamp it all together for a minute. We need to cut 245s on our 4x4 post, which we've already did. And now we're just going to put a chamfer on the edge of our two 4x4s. It'll just clean it up and make the edge look a little bit more finished. This pot's not necessary, but I think it'll just make the arm look a lot nicer and just finish it off. Set our saw to a 45. The way I'm doing it is I'm putting my brace at the 28 inch mark. I'm going to drill a hole for our eye bolt at 4 inches. And then we'll have 2 feet from the edge to the eye bolt. First I'm going to drill it and screw it together. bit of an angle. If I go straight down it'll come out. If I go at an angle it'll get it nicely. Repeat it for the bottom one. The reason we're using mahogany is we got this wood at a job somebody was going to throw away. We've had it lying around the house, we might as well put it to use. This is a perfect project for it. Mahogany is one of the strongest woods and it does really well in weather. It won't rot.
one of the things I like about using all this hardware is I can take them out and reuse them on other projects. These were taken out from another project I had built. When we were in Mass, when we moved, we couldn't take it, so I took it apart and I was able to save all the hardware. And here we are, using it again. Let's see how it is drilling a half inch hole into mahogany. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. That hole is for this. Nice. Spin that like that. Put a washer on. Like it. Double nut it. By doing this, it'll lock the nut in place. And I won't let it back off, but it won't over tighten either, so we can keep it loose. The whole reason for that is we can keep the eye loose and it can swivel. And with swiveling, it's not tightening up or loosening. Now you might be asking, how are we gonna get all the way up there? I'm gonna put a ladder in the back of the truck. But the way the truck sits, it's not level. We need to raise up the passenger side a few inches. So now we gotta work on that. This is my solution, let's see how it works. Perfect. Let's check for level now. Believe it or not, we could still go up another inch. That's a lot better than what it was. Let's try that. Now we need a nice flat spot. The 45 angle bracket to sit on. I'm gonna try grind. I'm gonna grind a flat spot in the pole. into a how don't video, but if it does, don't try this at home.
don't like the position of the arm. It's not level enough for me. And I can't push it back by myself. So I drill the half inch hole through the back side here. Now we're going to attempt to pull it back and level it out. So I ran a strap through the half inch hole down to two different ratchet straps. Let's suck it up. Yeah, that looks better. Now my 45 isn't sitting nice up against my telephone pole, and it should. All the measurements figured out, that should be a nice 45 flat tip. There's a little bit of a gap, I can understand that because I used the grinder, but the way I, it is, it's too high, and then there's a half inch gap up against the telephone pole. So just drive it in. We have samples coming in the mail of some Lumna Acre t-shirts. All right. And believe it or not, they're made by another modern steader. He's doing this for a second job so he can buy some land. Awesome. I got an oak dowel that I cut. I'm going to taper the edges on it. I'm gonna drill a hole on the back side of our post. I'm gonna stick this in it and it's gonna hit the telephone pole and it'll lock the pole from going this way at all. Here goes nothing. All right, so I wanted to show you the back side of the top of the arm. That hole is the first hole is originally how far the mahogany was through the telephone pole. We were able to pull it that much with the strap and ratchet straps. And then we, that's our three quarter inch oak dowel that we were able to drill out and hammer in place. And that just locks the arm in so it can't pull forward. I wanted to show you one more thing. Let's climb up the ladder. The first step's a doozy. It's a stretch. That's what I wanted to show you. Let's see if you can see it right there. When I ground in here, I made a little shelf so when the bottom of our 45 is sitting, it's tight up against it. So now if there's pressure from the front bar pushing down, it's pushing in and down into the shelf of the telephone pole. And that's what the top looks like. We've got five bolts through it, nice tight fit. Here's a little nicer close-up of the bottom 45. 
I know I keep saying it, but I'm pretty sure this is the last big project we needed to finish up before the three day pig harvesting class coming up here in two more weeks. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be here before you know it. Looking forward to having some great pasture-aged bacon, pork chops, ham. Oh, I'm just getting hungry thinking about it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it's really helping the channel grow. If you wanna dive deeper into the modern steader lifestyle, we have a website you can check out. It's www.lumnaacres.com. If you can't spell it, I'm gonna put a link here and in the description down below. I know, my last name's kinda weird. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.